Welcome to the Cannes in the south of France. This is the project for ESA's tourism module by Rosemary Mendoza. The promenade of La Croisette is one of the most appreciated jewels of the city of Cannes. Join me as I show you the view along the La Croisette. More than 3 km long, from the Valle de Festival to the Fan Beach, the Croisette presents a diversified sidewalk where mythic hotels meet casinos. Stores well-known brands, sandy beaches, the new harbor that we call the Pierre Canto, and three shaded gardens. Well, you can just window shop at the luxury good boutiques or you can test your luck at the casinos or just contemplate the sea and the yacht. Come and let's continue to see the view in the promenade of La Croisette. Now, let's go to the Fale Festival de Cannes. Over the years, this festival has become the most highly publicized in the world, and its influence has continued to grow to the presence of media and sponsors at the event, notably at the opening ceremony and the traditional red carpet parade with its legendary 24 Steps of Glory. We are now accessing the Office of the Tourism. The Fireworks Festival. The Bay of Cannes has been hosting this international fireworks festival since 1967. The displays are held on various dates throughout July and August, and each event attracts over 200,000 people. Life in Cairns hasn't always been glamorous. This is where the old harbor, or known as Louvue Port, where the fishermen came in and docked their boats after having caught fish. Now, take a tour of Cannes' most visited and discover the town's beautiful Lerans Island. 
I will share with you the experience I had when exploring the two most visited islands in Gans. Just opposite the Bay of Gans, a short boat ride away from the La Croisette is the Isle of San Honora. The monastery of the island of San Honora dates from the 4th century. After experiencing a large radiation in the high Middle Ages, he suffered a series of looting that led the monks to build a fortified tower at the edge of the sea. It is gradually expanded to become a real fortified monastery, the most remarkable piece in the two-story cloister in the heart of the building, created in 1869. From the 7th century, the upper floors were set aside for soldiers who came on the orders of the king to defend the coastline. A garrison hall, chambers, and terraces with walkway used as a lookout. Here's the view from the top of the tower. Fascinating, isn't it? Enjoy! Now we can go to the island of Saint Marguerite or in French, Ile Saint Marguerite. Like the San Honora Island, the St. Marguerite is also a short boat ride away from the La Croisette. St. Marguerite is the largest island of Lerin, and it is an authentic haven of peace between the waves. It owns its name to Marguerite, sister of Honora, the hermit who founded an abbey on the neighboring island. This island is formed by creeks and vast forests planted by humans in the early 19th century. The island gives pride of the place to the scenery and relaxation between beaches and small shady paths. This island is visited by many visitors during summer from July to August to enjoy charms of this island paradise. This is filled with 22 kilometers of paths and trails and home to a vine sanctuary. The island St. Margaret is delight for nature lovers and open spaces like me. As you can see, this is also the place where you can do your photo shoot like we did with my family. And for history lovers will not be left behind. You can be able to visit also the famous Fort Royal, as well as numerous archaeological remains such as ball furnaces that controlled by Napoleon Bonaparte. And also the most mysterious, the prison where the Iron Mask stayed for a couple of years before it being transferred to the Bastille. And going back to wander the old neighborhood of Lusuke, Lusuke is one of the oldest neighborhoods in Cairns and dates back 
to the Roman times. Starting on Cannes' iconic boulevard, the Croisette head west, pass the old port on the left and go up the windy, cobbled street of restaurant to reach this old quarter. And at the top, you'll find two of the best buildings to appreciate Cannes' history, an old beautiful church and a castle. Lusukia sits at the top of the hill overlooking what is now Cannes. This is, was the original site of the town, which started out as a Roman camp. To enjoy life, one of the many reasons for losing oneself for a day is to stroll in a peaceful setting or using the small beaches and pretty little coves in the island of Lerance. Come and visit those two lovely islands and you will never regret. My experience assure you that you will surely want to come back or yet you just don't want to, to leave the place. Oh, so relaxing. It is a paradise. Cairns is amazing. I hope you can visit the place soon. Thank you for watching.